Hello, I'm John Pollock and welcome to another edition of Fight News Now Extra, your daily source of MMA news. In a moment, I'll be joined by John Ramdean and Robin Black to break down all the stories happening, including the return of a UFC champion after an almost three-year layoff, the possibility of an interim title at 145 pounds, and some unfortunate news for UFC 176 fans. The UFC announced on Tuesday that following an injury sustained by featherweight champion Jose Aldo last week, it has been decided that they will cancel the entire UFC 176 pay-per-view scheduled for August the 2nd in Los Angeles, California. Aldo, who was supposed to meet number one contender Chad Mendes in the night's main event, was forced from the contest on July the 2nd after suffering a neck and shoulder injury in training. This marks the second time the UFC has been forced to cancel a show following an incident incurred by a headlining fighter after the same situation occurred at UFC 151 in September of 2012. Keeping with Jose Aldo, UFC co-owner Lorenzo Fertitta told Fox Sports 1 Tuesday night that the plan would be to move the proposed Mendez vs. Aldo rematch to an event in October, giving the champion enough time to rehab his injury and put in a proper training camp. Fertitta also went on to state that if Aldo were not to be ready for October, a situation could happen where an interim title is created and would likely pit Mendez against either Cub Swanson or Frankie Edgar. Aldo is scheduled to meet again with his doctors in two weeks, and the UFC is expected to make a decision about the situation from there. And finally, it appears that former UFC bantamweight champion Dominic Cruz is once again expected to make his long-awaited octagon return. ESPN announced Tuesday that the 28-year-old Cruz, who has been sidelined for the past two and a half years with various injuries, will return September the 27th at UFC 178 against former WEC title contender Takeya Mizugaki. Cruz last saw action in October of 2011 when he handed current flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson a five-round decision loss. Mizugaki, meanwhile, enters his fight with a five-fight winning streak. And here they are, the guys that never cancel an event. John Ramdean and Robin Black here to chat about, well, what is not happening. UFC 176, it's going to join the Trivial Pursuit answer along with UFC 151 of the numbered events that never actually took place. August 2nd, I guess we get a night off. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can look at it that way. It's a, it's a positive. We're getting a break because right now we're having the UFC slam down our throat. And I know we all get excited by watching fights, but sometimes some of the guys on the undercard, they get forgotten about because you're so focused the on the main The of the world. That, that's, that's very true, and that's one of the guys we're going to be talking about on three rounds this week. Yeah, you know what? First of all, it's fun having the band back together. <laughs> yeah. We're like a three-piece. We can be like Rush, but one of you guys got to be Getty Lee. I am not being Getty Lee. <laughs> but it is fun really now. really alienating anyone outside yeah. of uh, Getty a Lee is, time period. Getty Canadian Lee is history. the less attractive member, but very talented. <laughs> 176, in this case, I mean, for, for the fighters here, this is only three weeks out. They're already far into their camps at this point, and now they're going to be dispersed into any of the four cards that are happening uh, in August. The big one is Gegard Mousasi yes. and Jacare Souza, which is a fight everyone's looking forward to. Unfortunately, it just can't headline a pay-per-view. We heard ticket sales not doing great at the Staples Center. This was a show that, even with Jose Aldo on top of it, was not expected to perform well. And now these fighters, they're kind of just probably waiting for the phone call because they don't know where they're going to be fighting. And that really creates a problem as you're trying to peak for a certain date, and now that's completely thrown out. It might be here, it might be there. You don't know right now. Yeah, the problem is, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but when you have all these cards, and we know how watered down they are, instead of amalgamating these cards, for example, having Donald Cerrone and Jim Miller on that same card as Chad Mendez and Jose Aldo and Gegard Mousasi and Jacare. On top of that, you put Diego Brandau and you put Conor McGregor on the card. And if by chance the main event falls out, you still have a bunch of big fights that you can sell. So uh, it's kind of the UFC's fault because they have all, it's their, their yeah. fault, but they do have obligations yeah to Fox and their other broadcast it, partners. It's so. part of their international strategy. But what you just did there was you took all of the good fights with a month and you put it into one card a month and you just made a hell of a card right there. Yeah. Uh, and But that's just not the, the setup that they have. International expansion demands that they have all of these. But it is tricky. When you're a fighter, there's so many challenges now. One, well, we don't seem to be making enough money considering how much work we do and how much Poppy we get cock. hurt. 
Two, it's really challenging to put these things together. You know, you want to fight more. Then three, we had a fight, but now we got to change the date. And all of your planning, sometimes you put money into dietitians and, and conditioning coaches, it can cost you. It's a real challenging thing. I mean, it's part of expansion. And if you're a team player and everybody's in it together and we're going to make this thing the biggest thing in the world, it's, you just deal with it. But for some guys, it's going to be a, you know, a bit of a sour taste. Dominic Cruz, we're back to targeting at least a date now of September 27th for him to come back and fight Takei Mizugaki. A three-round bout as opposed to going immediately for, for a, a title opportunity, which I think is a smart move by Dominic Cruz. Uh, but does this look to be the light at the end of the tunnel for Cruz? We got our fingers crossed. We love watching Dominic Cruz. He's been out of the game for way too long. He has elevated the sport of mixed martial arts. We've seen so many fighters utilize the Dominic Cruz style uh, to be successful. And I think, you know, we need to see this guy back because we need a number of challengers at 135 pounds. However, right now with TJ Dillashaw at the top of that mountain, there, we do have some breathing room. So if Dominic Cruz isn't ready, I think that he should just, you know, wait till his body is healed for him to come back because Mizugaki's going to come at him. I think it's a great fight for him. But, uh, you know, only yeah. he will know. He's a star as a performer, and people like him. People find him to be a star as a, as a dude, too. Anytime you can bring in one instead of having to make a new one, it is good. But uh, BJ Penn, why do we love him? Because he'll fight anybody yeah. anytime. Look at the assignment he gave himself. Third fight, he already lost two against one of the best guys in the world after this layoff. That's just nuts. Dominic Cruz, on the other hand, really, really smart. Three rounds against an upper mid-level guy with a style that he can make win. It's well done. Don Dominic Cruz, smart by everybody. If you know, get in there, get your feet wet again. It's going to be plenty of a test after that yeah. many years off. Good move. And we mentioned, you know, the, the injuries and the problems that Dominic Cruz has had as a champion. Are you starting to somewhat see some of those cracks with Jose Aldo? When you're hearing repeated neck injuries, and here he is off of this card at 176, I mean, he is someone that he always has that brutal weight cut, but also someone that trains extremely hard. And now we're, we're looking at the fact that. You know, how much longer can this guy continue when your body's in that shape? We've heard Josh Thompson uh, say in the past that, you know, every fighter goes into a fight hurt or injured in some way. But Jose Aldo is just one of those guys we have to remember he did fight back in February. So any talks of, you know, having an interim title, as long as Jose Aldo still uh, def defends that title, just makes absolutely he, no sense. He's canceled or, or rebooked sure. a number of times. He's got real injuries. Cain Velasquez should have so, done yeah, the same thing. Yeah, but we Lost don't know how, how much longer he'll be there you know and so let's enjoy his uh him performing at the highest level while we can all right we've got more coming up so keep it tuned to fight news now extra